What is up, YouTube? We are back out here with another video. Y'all, it's Easter morning. Happy Easter, everyone out there. Uh, today, we're gonna do a little pre-spawn crappie fishing. Not gonna lie, y'all, I know it's been a couple weeks without a video, but I have tried two weeks in a row now to get this crappie video or video in general, and I've either lost the SD card or I've gotten skunked. Uh, the last two times I've been out here to crappie fish, I've absolutely hammered them. Uh, if you guys see my YouTube shorts, you see I do have a nice stockpile starting to form. So, we're going to get out here. I'm going to try to get y'all a video today. So, if you're seeing this, it means I got it all figured out. But anywho, guys, like I said, going to do some pre-spawn crappie fishing today. I'm going to show you a couple, two different ways, really, to try and to help you, really, target these pre-spawn crappies. You can do this. I'm going to be doing it from the bank, but you could also do this from a boat. Uh, but anywho, guys, enough of me talking. Let's get after it giant crappie oh my goodness that was right out the bank there we go guys first fish of the day when he's barely hooked let's see An 11 12 inch crappie and he's going in the sack All right, guys, so first bait of the day is a Roadrunner with any kind of soft plastic on it. Now, I am a firm believer in the Roadrunner. They make a million different bladed jigs, but the Roadrunner for me has been the best one. Uh, pretty much you throw it out and you just slow, that, slow roll that bait all the way back. Uh, that crappie bit right at the bank, which another one. I might have a school in front of me. Well, that being said, now that we got number two, that quick, and now that I've found them in what I think is a congregated area, that is now when you go to the jig and bobber combination. Now, some of you may be thinking, man, that's a really basic concept, but hear me out. So, I use the Roadrunner as a search bait. I use it to help me find and locate the crappies. Now, once I find a few of them, or I catch two back-to-back -back like that, I'll pick up the bobber, and where I know that bite where both those fish hit at, I will then drop the bobber in there. Oh, it's a bass. Drop the bobber in there, and then I can pick the fish apart. Now, I was not expecting uh, Larry the Largemouth to hit. And he also hit like a crappie. But it's kind of a deadly two punch combination, if you will. Because I honestly could go up and down this bank all day and probably catch crappies like this. But once I get them in a congregated area, this honestly will catch more fish than the than the Roadrunner will. So I'm going to feel this spot out real quick a little bit. and I usually don't give the, vo the bobber very long. Especially now that I know a bass bit right there. But I'll give it a couple dips. So all I'm doing is suspending that bait just above the fish's head, in theory. And trying to see if I can get bit. Now one thing I have done in the past, which will get you your jig swallowed, but I'm keeping crappie stay, so I don't really care. I will set that right there. There's a little bit of, what yeah, I got going on here? There's a little bit of wind, so that bobber's bouncing just a little bit. But I will let that bait just sit there. And I'll grab the Roadrunner back out. And see if they moved or, see if I can find more fish.
Ooh. He's got it. Oh, he dropped it. No. No, he dropped it. Oh, and I missed him. Get back on him. Come back and get it. Got him. Oh, it was a bluegill. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's probably time for a spot change. I got other species, not crappie here. Go to the Roadrunner a couple more times. See if I can get bit. Let's try to get another one. Stick. That was a nice crappie. I think they're all up along this bank, super shallow. Oh, that's pain. About right there. Oh, you hit the bobber. That bass just stroked this bobber and then now I'm gonna get a crappie on the same cast. Are you joking me right now? And it's a big crappie. So again, guys, I threw my road runner out, missed a crappie, immediately went back in there with the bobber, somehow got blown up by a largemouth, and then turn around, drop it, crappie. Oh, what do we got going on here? Twiggities. I honestly could probably stand over those fish right there with like a 10 foot pole and hammer them, but I have no clue where my 8 foot build ants rod is. Oh, it's a little shallow. No, it's not. Oh, and the bass is still what? Oh, that's pain. That crappie destroyed it. And then another largemouth came up and again tried to attack the bobber. I have a feeling these fish are tuned up today. All right, there. There's more crappie. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna be close. He's gonna be close. Let's see, 10. Yeah, will go 11. He'll go 11. Pliers. Go, guys, another crappie. Again, there's so where these rocks are I can kind of see if my sunglasses on there's a couple big ones that come out about right in here and those fish are sitting about right there right on the very tail edge of them how many I do not know but that bite also took a little longer so I have a feeling there's not very Probably either spooked or or starting the spook off. I do have to keep them out of that tree. There's a tree right ahead of me. I gotta keep these fish out of. I just got hit. There we go. Get over that line. Oh, they're still there. Right, just a little bit. They're still there. I grab my fish now. They're still there. They've probably retreated into that brush pile now. Which I mean it's fine. I could go sit on top of them.
Crappy. Crappy, crappy, crappy. Ooh, that's a fat one. Oh, that's a female. There we go, guys. That took a little casting to get that one. There we go. Decent little crappie. Add it to the pile. So that was right there. Hope they're getting their bikes. I have a feeling there's a big school right there. Okay, that is a large crappie. Excuse me, Mr. Crappie. That is a big one. Big one. Big one. Back to back cast. Love to see it. What I don't love to see is what I do with my pliers. Hey there. That's a good crappie right there. Alright. Get a good kettle here. So we can get a decent kettle. Now, that being said, was not going to, but we're getting ready to. So that fish was a lot closer. Okay, maybe not that close. Okay. There we go. Absolutely crawling that bait. All right, so we need to relocate that jig. that jig All right yonder and judging by how close that was to the bottom I might need to lower that quite a bit there we go that's a crappie Moving around on me. All right, crappies, I need y'all to cooperate. I'm trying to catch one of these on the bobber for the people at home. Y'all aren't really co cooperating. Go, guys. Another keeper crop. Oh, I about lost my fish sack. <clears throat> That crappie came from over here, which is fine. There's a shallow portion of the bank that goes straight to deep. Ooh, how about fell in the water? So I wouldn't doubt if there's a couple three right there. Right. Take this jig. You're going to precision cast it. Sweep it back just a little. I'll grab a new jig. Oh my god. And I got one. Oh, and it came off. That's what I get. Darn. That's pain. Now, see the smart person here would say, you know what? Tie your color on that you want real quick before throwing it back out there. But I'm going to do the same thing. That one right there. Ouch. 
pinch myself. All right, guys, so when it comes to <laughs> your plethora of crappie jigs, in all honesty, you cannot go wrong with black and chartreuse. Uh, I did have some purple in here. I'm starting to like purple a little more. Uh, your natural colors, your grays, your whites. Uh, honestly, when in doubt, chartreuse. So I'm gonna switch over to this little tail here. Switch over that one. This one's kind of getting beat up. All right, really don't need I might as well catch a fish in the process. Hit it, got new, 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 new. Hold my pants down. Tie this new one on with the pink. Hook sharp. Yeah, it's kind of sharp. It's kind of got a weird point on it. Boy is Yeah, this isn't the sharpest jig head in the world. But we're gonna try to catch fish with it. Fortunately, I'm not dead set on jig heads yet, except for road runners. Dead set on road runners, there's a fish. Uh, I need to find one that's got a really sharp point. Because these cheap ones go out on me pretty quick. There's a crappie on the color change. You love to see it. Oh, and he got it. Bud, you were not coming off. Oh, dude, it's a good thing you're getting eaten because I know that hurt. You're going to get eaten and terminated in hot grease. Well, breading first, then hot grease. That would be delicious. All right, so we got a hole full of crappies right here, which is a good thing, I think. Hopefully y'all can see but So this spot right here, it goes up. And then you can't see it because it's underwater, but there's a little, about right here, it goes whoop. And this is all deep right in here that goes shallow. And it's really everything likes to sit in this corner here. Oh, he hit it. Oh, he pecked it. He pecked it and I got anxious, darn it. But they like to sit in this spot because they'll come up on that little... That was instantaneous. <laughs> They'll sit here and come up in these rocks and feed and head straight out. That is a nice crappie. And he ate it. Look at that. He ate that jig. So that's a little thing. Look for little nuanced things like that when you're fishing a bank. There's a lot of people driving by will be like, yeah, it's just a rock wall. There's nothing really to it. Well, yeah, but there's wood in the water. There's some of these rocks that extend further out into the water. There's deep to shallow, shallow to deep. There's stumps everywhere out here. There's little things that are going to hold more fish and you should sit on more or fish longer than other spots just going straight down a bank. I'm digging the sunlight coming out though. Like I'm not gonna sit here and dink and dump every single one of these rocks. I'm gonna fish certain rocks, certain spots, certain pieces of isolated cover. Now granted I could, I could go down this whole bank and just fish it. That's gonna take hours on end. Well I don't have hours on end today. It's Easter. So 
Got some plans to go on a scavenger hunt with uh, my volleyball team, so appreciate y'all. I don't even know if they know if they know I have a YouTube channel yet. I'm pretty low key about it at times. But I got all that to go do. I don't have time to fish every single one of these rocks. Walk back to the truck. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's pain. Mmm. I see how Malcolm felt yesterday. Yeah, old Pier Cat and I went out yesterday, and very rarely anymore do I get skunked. I got skunked. Like, not like your average everyday skunk. Like, I would get a dink tap, and it was just, it would just be one, one, two taps, and that's it. Just enough for me to stand up, expel unnecessary energy, and then sit back down. Jay. And then they're not going to hit the Roadrunner. I am mortified right now. I am... Mm. We're about to change jig heads, y'all. Definitely getting ready to change jig heads. I lose one more fish. So you're gonna tell me there's no more fish now? Got him. Good. Oh, there's one chasing it. All right. So I still can't catch fish. Cool. All right, Mr. Crappie. Getting a kettle. I wonder if I tie. Yeah, I don't have a big enough bobber. If I had a big enough bobber, I'd probably tie on two jigs and see what the hell happens. But let's go a little further out. A lot of times with crappies, once you beat them down long enough in a single spot they will move move deeper move tighter to cover etc so sometimes i won't like i'll probably cast the same spot a few times but then i'll go out and see if maybe the herd is starting to move sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but all i know is this corner has a lot of fish. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot. Seeing all these crappies group like this makes me real excited for this wood pile down here. Makes me real excited. <laughs> Now this ray, I might not even have to go down to that wood pile. There. Cat's hole. The underhand toss. Instant. It's like as soon as that jig's bottoming out, I it is on fish. This is wild. Love it though. Don't freeze that, my stomach's gonna love it. Get in there.
all right guys so gonna get in the tackle real quick so i got a 16th ounce jig head uh, i don't remember the brand i think it's eagle claw uh, bonehead tackle uh, body i don't even know the name of this tube body to a float you can use any float you can use a basic white and red bobber i prefer these with the weight on the bottom they cast a little better uh, i will make in their video weighted versus non-weighted because personally i prefer the non-weighted and i'll show you why in that video one day but eight pound monofilament line got actually my co-worker daniel got me this ugly stick gx2 rod real combo six foot six medium action a little beefy for these crappies but i promised daniel i'd catch a crap ton of fish on this so here you go daniel catch his fish i thank you good sir but all this got him no, 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 no. oh these fish are biting while i'm trying to tell people what i'm doing but anywho all this stuff guys you can get at any fish and tackle shop uh Guys, leave a comment uh, if you want me to start leaving items in the description. Uh, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, I've been asked by a few people recently as they're wanting to get into fishing and they want me to make a video on just basic gear for fishing. But honestly, guys, this is as basic as it gets. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, Oh, we're gonna change out jig heads real quick, guys. Uh, we're gonna change out jig heads. That's what we're gonna do. We're, I'm just gonna bite it. We're gonna take this jig head you see right here. We're gonna chuck it up into the rocks. Never to be seen again. I'm just gonna grab another one. But as I was saying, y'all, I have a box. You don't have to get crazy with uh, two bodies. I have a box of crappie tubes, an assortment, and then I have just an assortment of jig heads here. Uh, nothing crazy. My favorites are these VMC ones. They're the sharpest hook I've ever used in my entire life. So we're gonna grab another pinky here. Should tell them one of these moon eyes, but I will. But the basic just non-painted jig jig head I could use right now uh, honestly I haven't really noticed a difference with painted versus non-painted that may have to be another video but I've never really taken the time to notice just when it's snaggier I use the non-painted because they're cheaper And then some days I just, I've fished enough now to know I should probably throw a jig head with a little bit of cover, cover, color. That's uh, causing some contrast with the uh, lure I'm using. Real easy guys, take your tube body. Right through the center straight on with crappies i like a little more of that hook exposed right there and always when you're bobber fishing tighten your knot down push it to the back that'll have it sit vertical Ooh, there's fish right here i'll have it sit vertical and i have noticed a lot more bites when my baits sitting a little more vertical than like that I'm gonna scream here in a sec. I, 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 I am frustrated, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna catch one like that. Keep the hook in him. And then I get stuck in a rock. This is pain. Like, this is actual pain right now.
goodness. Please stay on. I'm gonna even loosen my drag for you because you're actually a decent crappie. You're a pretty good one. Actually, you're a really good crappie. Oh my goodness. You are a hefty, hefty, and the hook just falls out. <laughs> Mr. Crappie, thanks for playing. Oh, it's about to be hell getting up these rocks with this heavy, heavy sack. But it's a little out of the strike zone. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Big in. Absolute big in. Inhaled it. Look at that. Inhaled. What if my pliers? Inhaled that thing. I could do with minnows out here. I have a feeling that might get stupid. All right, underhand. Oh, that's in the strike zone. That's immediate bite. Yep, called it. What are you? A crappie. I have a whole herd of crappies to myself right now. Actually, he... Buddy, you're barely 10 inches. Tell you what, I'm going to be nice to you. And I will see you next year. And it was, it's going to be a little different next year. Strike zone. Money zone. Money zone. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's a giant. Nope, stay out of them rocks. Good. Absolute good. Absolute good and battery's about to die. Catch one more fish before I change out my battery. Was a large fish that just jumped. Jumped again. Is he gonna jump one more time? Ripped it out of his mouth. I got excited again. There we go. As in that spot is a herd of crappie. And I'm picking with the bobber. One's got good colors. Oh, you're gonna need pliers. The hook actually got you good. Go guys. Beautiful black crappie. Get a little video of you and then we're gonna get you in the sack. All right, y'all, that is gonna do it for today's video. Y'all, as you can see, 
we got a pretty good kettle kettle of crappies there so they're gonna they're gonna taste quite divine uh, tonight uh, but y'all that is a very deadly one-two punch if you will for catching crappies you use the search bait first find the crappies locate them get them down where you think they're at and then you take the bobber and jig and then you just pick them apart one after another uh, this works anywhere guys uh, boat or bank it doesn't matter but y'all if you like what you saw hit the like button if you want to see more like it hit the subscribe hit the subscribe button Ooh, say that 10 times fast uh, and then hit that bell icon it'll let you know when i post videos guys i appreciate you i love y'all hope y'all have a great easter uh, i'm gonna finish getting moved in to my new place today uh, after i get through cleaning these fish and then uh get ready for work tomorrow guys always thanks for watching